Hi guys, welcome to another review today, and uh, I'm gonna do uh, uh, the X Men Mister Review movie review. I saw it yesterday with my friends. Um, um, there might be uh, some spoilers, or spoiler free. People say you now these days, you know, spoiler free is, is all good. This and that. That's what it means. So. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but I might spoil a little bit for you, just a little bit, but uh, if you want to turn off this video right now, go right ahead, I have no problems with you, just, you know, ignoring the fact that, uh, what my point of view is about the movie. So yeah, so it starts off with, um, you know, the, you know, with Sly and his misfits, you know, he's, um, uh, in this team that you know who doesn't give a fuck. Um you know he's that they're on the rescue mission to save this uh billionaire. But they end up finding um uh Arnold Schwarzenegger, the trench his character and it starts out building up this and then it then shows the new characters, uh Chris Hainbrook's brother Liam Hainbrook so uh so you know showing up there this and that i'm not gonna tell you the whole movie about it but i'm just telling but it starts well up with there it's continuing from part one you know they're still same they got same attitude you know um this and that different kind of jokes this time the action is it's a lot more action than part one the first one was, was a bit weak because the slide directed the first one and it came out in a stupid year. So uh, I didn't really enjoy the first one. So it starts off this and that. So they get a uh, little um, easy paycheck from um, Mr. Church, played by Bruce Willis. Um, obviously, he's got a bigger role, including not Arnold and Bruce Willis. They got bigger roles in this one. You know, they in enhance the roles in it so he tells them like oh you owe me big time this is that you stole me money you stole five million dollars boom 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 for me boom 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 and all hell breaks loose one of the old men dies in it and uh i'm i'm gonna say but liam haynes was has got the shittest role in the part of the movie um and yeah i, I want to talk about Jet Li as well he had the shittest part he was in like the last 10 20 minutes of the movie and he just leaves like he they didn't even mention about him like oh you when you gotta come back boom 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 and he had the shittest part in the movie um i don't know why they put him in it was just a waste of money a waste of time so it was kind of pointless uh he had a really short part in a really short part but uh they replaced another chinese woman um Whose name is Maggie? I don't know her real name. Is Nan Yu or something? Some Chinese name. Who gives a fuck? And you know she works for Mr. Church and you know, to get this special thing um, because the plane crashed in this terrific place, and you know Sly doesn't want to do this job for Mr. Church. So it looks like an easy pay thing, this and that, and like I said, one of them old man dies you know that's Liam Hainsworth spoiler alert and you can see Shonko Van Damme the one is the greatest villain in this movie you know the, the way he's interested how he came in the movie is so cool it's very really smoky really smoky in, in the movie and uh, and then you can see his henchman you know you can see his right hand man it's like I want that oh, if you don't give me that I'm gonna kill one of your men so uh, he takes it away from there, he still kills his mother, so you know, you should be scared of me. Then he kills it, he gives an example, isn't it? So he's one of these men, um, grab the knife, and he does like a roundhouse kick, and he just stands with it, and uh, Songo, Shongo, uh, Sylvester on Sly, he gets really pissed though, he takes it really personally, he's like, we're, you know, we have to find these fucking bastards, this and that, we have to kill them. Um, they want to get revenge in it so um so they got all this areas this and then they have to f help these other people um because Shonga Random is taking advantage of them Shonga Random this plot is you know he's villain you know Jean Belan 
um, this is kind of a stupid name, but I know why they said that. For they came, they saying that John is the villain in the movie, so obviously he's a villain. He's the bad guy, the ultimate bad guy. And um, he wants to uh, make a lot of money, you know, um, because he wants to get his big break. Because every super villain or bad guy wants to get the big thing in it. So he has to take steal some petroleum to serve the highest bidder. He wants to like like four million, twenty million, fifty, or even more billions. So, so obviously um, they find this big um, battle at, during the end of the movie, and they hook the people. This and that. I'm not going to go into that. It's kind of boring part. Um, so all, all hell breaks loose. This and that. then they get some help from Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris has a brief cameo in it. But he helps. He helps out at the end. At the end, and Arnold and Bruce Willis, um, you know all the characters. You know Dolph London, this and that. everybody's in it. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. It's better than part one, I think. And the story plot is a little bit better. It's more. Um, it stands out. It gives them more. You know, just to to, to it. Cause the first one didn't give any juice to it. So yeah. So Sly and Shunko Vandal have the ultimate beat down my ultimate shoulder and the final shoulder is between him it's between him and him so uh, it's crazy um, obviously the fight was seemed a bit too short because you know it's like a two or a half an hour movie so one half hour we'll say one hour movie and you know it's crazy the way he kills him it's just fucking epic you know um, it's crazy and um, you know they you know this this stop oh. shit so they stop Shunko Van Damme um, and stop his henchmen and uh, it's crazy and there's another fight battle with uh, Jason Stanford with um, some another bad guy that was brutal the way he used the helicopter to cut his head off that was fucking epic and the blood Effects look so fake, just like part one. I don't know why they do that. And it's all CGI now. They don't want to. Be, they want to be. They want to look, make it look weird, even more realistic. So that's fine. I got no problem. But yeah, I do have problem with that. But but yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a really epic movie. Um, it's much better than part one. But I think I expect a bit more. I I was hoping. Um, you know, other actors to be in it, you know, um, um, you know, uh, I heard, um, they was gonna put, um, The Rock and this and that, but Sly trying to get them in, but they couldn't get them to do scheduling conflicts, so that sucks, but, uh, and I wish the story was a bit more, more epic, but they did it epic as they, best they could, and, um, the director, Sam West, he directed a lot of big action movies. You know, he's a British uh, uh, director, uh, but he, he did a good job. You know, he did a better job than Sylvester Stallone because Sylvester Stallone didn't want to direct this movie because he got too much stuff. You know, he wrote the screenplay this time. He wrote this story. Uh, he created the characters, basically, isn't it? So yeah, and I heard they're gonna make Expendables three with um, they're gonna put um. Clint Eastwood, Houseford, Nicolas Cage, that's crazy isn't it, so uh, so it's just rumoured now, it's just speculation, so, you know, I don't mind putting, putting Clint Eastwood, but I don't like him, uh, the way he speaks, this and that, I saw his other movies, but I'm not a big fan of Houseford, yeah, he can be in it, you know, he did India Jones, he did, you know, Air Force One and other movies, and uh, Nicolas Cage, he can do it, you know, but he has to do it, a good role in it so obviously he's a douche in real life but uh you know he's got his you know thing going on but uh but yeah Scrambles 3 bring on I don't know my I don't mind but people saying like oh I think this one should be the last one but I don't mind if they make another one why not I'll watch it in cinema again and uh you know wait another two years that's fine I don't you know because this one is much better than the predecessor, you know, it's it stands out better. The story is better as well, but it could be a little bit more better, but uh you know, and Sean Gavanham as the 
the main villain, the main super villain. Let's say the villain, you know. but he's still a super because he wants to take over. He wants to destroy. It. He's he's hell bent, you know, making money. He's hell bent to change the world forever. But uh, also we've got the hero, Shungo, uh, Sylvester Stallone, Sly. He stops him because he killed one of his men. So he makes a great person. So that that really really uh, intrigued me in this movie, guys. So uh, you know. You know, so this is on versus Shungo Van Damme. It's just epic, epic, and it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I give this f uh, film uh, uh, six out of ten. That's the best rating I can do. Um, the reason is that um, the story could be done a little bit more, but it's epic still. But you know, mixed feelings. Um, the casting is great really great and some of the jokes are really corny it's like Yibi Kaye, I'll be back um, who's the next Rambo you know um, Chuck Norris he did a brief cameo it's, he's, he's been absent from acting for years including Arnold um, Arnold Schwarzenegger because he did that governor shit and since 2003 um, and Bruce Willis, he did an okay job, you know, he plays a complete douchebag in it, but that's his character in it, so. And other actors, you know, Dolph Lundgren, and other actors, they, they did an okay job, you know, they, they did what they had to do in it. And the main guy, you know, who brought the, these characters and the actors, the action heroes, um, Sylvester so Stallone, he did a good job, man, you know, obviously he didn't direct it this time, but. You know, he wrote it, he wrote the screenplay, you know, um, so there was not a, stress, a lot of stress on him, so uh, it's epic, and, um, shit, it's, it's crazy, um, but yeah, though, um, you know, they're gonna make Expendables 3 now, um, another two years time, probably, uh, 2014 now, so, uh, you know, they have to make this movie, a much like 25 years ago, they should have done this uh, years ago, but uh, you know, the actors gone old now. No, Sean Will Van Damme, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, you know, Bruce Willis, Chuck Norris, they're really old ac actors now, isn't it? So they have to get some new people in it. So I don't know they might put uh, Chris Hemsworth in it or Chris Evans, um, fuck uh, Robert Downey Jr., fuck him. Uh, or Jim Rennie, he, he should be in Expendables 3, isn't it? He's a good actor because he's getting his big break now because I saw in his other movies how he started acting and it wasn't great. Now he's getting his big uh, moment. Yeah, he should be in Expendables 3, you know. Give him a big paycheck, he'd be happy. <laughs> and get my big paycheck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, go watch this movie now. Um, it's still out in cinemas. I watched it in View Cinema in Fuck Green. Um, you know, the certificate's 15 uh, because Chuck Norris did, didn't want a lot of swearing. There, there was not a lot of swearing in this movie. You know, they say shit, this and that, damn it. You know, they don't say fuck or anything, shit. Because, you know, uh, Chuck Norris is a really uh, prosperity man. You know, he's really, you know, long -born. He doesn't swear in his movies anyway, so. But this one, without the story, it's still great, you know, it's fucking crazy, you know. But uh, it's still a great movie, you know, obviously it's not everybody to watch, you know, it's a 50 movie, it's mainly for the guys, you know, I'm not being gay, it's just mainly for the guys' movies. Um, if you want to bring your girlfriend, it's not really right for them, you know. I'm not being sexist, but it's a guy's movie, and so, you know, you know, testosterone and uh, macho, uh, martial arts gun shooting, uh, explosion, corny jokes, um, the location of the film is really great, you know, it brings the color to the movie and it just, it's really epic, it's really, it stands out, it's, it's fantastic, it's, it's, also, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's a crazy ass movie, um, I can't wait for, for Experimental 3, it's crazy. It's awesome. All right, guys. Um, whoa, it's a long uh, review I'm doing, but uh, Sean Covando is really happy. Um, obviously, I lost my fanism with this guy, but uh, 
you know, but he did a good job in it, and, uh, you know, I think I'm getting back to Sean Govando now. I know he's making shit movies now, you know, straight to DVDs and Blu-ray, because I saw these other movies, they were so shit, and, you know, you know, he has been, been on the downside lately. He's going with Fat Line, and, uh, you know, even the other actors, you know, uh, sort of, um, and I don't know, Schwarzenegger, obviously, he's done the, the only thing. Bruce Willis, no, he has been doing great movies lately. But that's his fault because, you know, he's a complete douche, but, uh, and Chuck Norris, fair enough, he's been stopping acting since 2003 or 6 or something, around there, and, uh, yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy, guys. So next experiment, I want to see, uh, Steven Seagal be in it, The Rock, um, Vin Diesel, Jeremy Renner, Chris Ainsworth or Chris Evans, you know, they'll be great. You know, obviously they had to bring the big bucks, you know, they spent $100 million on this movie. But the other one they spent like $82 million or $90 million. so they're going to keep spending money on it. So, yeah, but this one they spent more money, and obviously it's going to make more money in worldwide release. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my review of x men 2. This one's much better than the first one, you know, but it's still got some downside, but, you know, but, you know, I hope uh, next time Experience 3 will be much crucial to to the actors, to the action superstars, and, uh, yeah, and especially Sir Sir Stallone, because Sir Stallone, Arnold Schultz, and Bruce Willis, Chuck Norris, and Sean Van Damme, you know, they had their prime time. You know, and now we've got to the new actors now, so, you know, they can still bring it, but the, they have to retire retire soon, because they can't do it forever, guys, you know, they're going to get old, they're going to go, and they're going to die, you know, I know it sounds a bit cold, but it's true, though, so, I'm just being honest. Alright, guys, thanks, uh, peace, and more to come. Oh, fuck. So, basically... <laughs>